In here is a battery, a camera, and a wireless transmitter. It's transmitting to this receiver, which in turn I can output this video into any kind of video recorder. I also get video feedback when I'm looking at my own monitor. I uh, had an accident with a shotgun. I was nine years old. I took my grandfather's shotgun out into the field, uh, shot a pile of cow dung, hit it, uh, but I, I had an accident and damaged the eye. Um, over the years, it got worse and worse until finally about six years ago, I had the eye removed. At that time, I had become a documentary filmmaker and I still had my six million dollar man action figure. So it was very natural for me to think about and, and begin planning making a camera eye. I mean, it's, it's only just now that we've got a really good prototype that actually works really reliably, reliably out in the field. Where it's going in the future is that we're just beginning the research now for what I would call neuroprosthetics. For example, a prosthetic arm now, you flex this muscle, the hand opens. You flex that muscle down here, it closes. So that would be kinetic sensors, for example. But the way it's going is you just think, I want to open the arm, and a biomechanical device will do that. I wouldn't mind having a bionic ass, for example. I'm joking, I don't, want to, I don't want a bionic ass. I'm happy with my own ass for now. But as you get older, if, if I'm 80 years old and my legs are not working anymore and there's, there's a great um, biomechanical option, yeah, I would, maybe more than most, I would, I would be open to it because I, I've looked very carefully at the world of, of prosthetics and augmentations or, or whatever you want to call it.